Have you seen the video that has been spreading all over social media with Sean Diddy Combs physically assaulting Cassie Ventura? We gonna get into it right now from a licensed therapist perspective. Hey, hey, everybody. My name is Keandra Jackson, licensed marriage and family therapist. And if you are new here, hey, welcome to my channel. But if you are a returning subscriber, you already know how my review and celebrity gossip videos go. Now, there's a few things that I want to talk to you guys about from a licensed therapist perspective. I chose not to speak on Diddy and everything that was going on with him for a very long time. And it wasn't because I was scared, fearful, or any of those reasons. It was simply because I wasn't as updated on the case and what was going on on with him as I have been on other celebrity issues. And I didn't want to misspeak. I didn't want to say anything wrong. But with this video swirling around on social media today, I had to speak up. First of all, I saw the video by accident. I was just scrolling on social media, Instagram specifically, minding my business, and I see this video of a man whooping another woman's tail. And I'm like, what is this? Who is this? And I read the description and it was Diddy. I did not intentionally want to watch that video. I absolutely hate that videos are getting shared and reshared on all of these social media platforms without a trigger warning. I watched that video and it took my breath away. No, it literally took my breath away. I'm not saying that just to give you a little wordplay here. I gasped for air. I was like, <sighs> because it shook me to my core and it broke my heart. So before we get into the few things that I want to talk to you guys about, because I need to break a few things down for you guys, I want you to put in the comment section and let's have a little dialogue here. What are your thoughts about Diddy? What are your thoughts about the case? How did you feel before and now that the video and the footage is out after in regards to Cassie? Let's chat about it in the comment section. First thing I want to talk to you guys about is that you do not have to watch the video that is circulating around. I know it's already spreading like wildfire. I know everybody's talking about it. I know it's all over everywhere. You kind of can't get away from it, but I want to tell you that you do not have to watch something just because it is popular and trending on social media, especially and even if it is attached to a celebrity. So let me tell you guys about something that you may not know. There is something called vicarious trauma. I'm going to say that again for the people in the back. Vicarious trauma. In a nutshell, it essentially means you don't have to experience some type of traumatic event for yourself firsthand for it to physiologically, mentally, and emotionally impact you. The physiological response that I had when I told y'all that I was scrolling and it took my breath away, Literally, my heart was pounding as if I was her. These are some of the things that our body experiences when we see things and we do things or we're a part of things that is a traumatic experience. And because we have normalized it so much, we don't even realize that we're being traumatized even on social media. If you don't think it's real, think about all of the deaths and the black bodies and all of the things that was going on with the Black Lives Matter movement and how the videos of all of these black men and kids were being killed and people were watching those things. Those are all also vicarious traumatic experiences that never leaves you. You can't unsee something once you see a thing. I want you to be careful. If you haven't watched the video, maybe you shouldn't. But if you have already, make sure you're doing some type of self-care to make sure that this doesn't negatively impact you, especially if you are a domestic violence survivor, especially if you have experienced any type of physical abuse, whether it was from a partner, a spouse, a parent, or whoever in your life, this can be very triggering for you. And I want to make sure that you guys are taking care of yourself. The second thing that I want to talk to you guys about is that I hate the fact that we come from this culture where it's like, I have to see it to believe it type of energy. Why do we have to see something and have physical evidence to believe when somebody is saying that they have been physically assaulted, where they have severely been injured, where they've lost all different types of things going on in their life and in their, they experience, why do we have to see the evidence in order to believe them? Especially black women. Y'all already know we are the most unprotected. We are the most vulnerable. Nobody stands up for us. But for some reason, we have to see the footage in order to believe her. What? Now, I get it. There are some women, Black and otherwise, who take advantage of men and circumstances who have more money, who have more notoriety, who have more power. I mean, we can name circumstance after circumstance where we have seen people 
you know, abuse the relationship that they are in because they are a celebrity or because the person has money, they're trying to extort them or trying to do something negative to bring down their influence and their power. I understand that that's a real thing. A lot of women do do that. But also there's a lot of women like Cassie who has experienced so much and continues to experience so much. And that leads me to my third thing that I want to talk to you guys about is y'all owe her an apology. Y'all owe Cassie an apology. Y'all drag her for filth saying, she lying, that ain't true. Protect our black man. She just want money. She out here. All of these things that y'all negatively said about her, let alone when they settled the case quickly. And if I'm not mistaken, it was like for 40 something million dollars. It was a lot of money. And when that happened, y'all really was going in on her scene. She just settled quickly. She did it, did it all of these things things. And now when the video evidence is out, y'all are quiet. Y'all are on hush hush. Y'all owe that black woman an apology because her life was ruined by this man. And I feel sad for her because she's currently having to relive everything that she experienced back in what, like 2016 or whenever this happened at the hotel in Los Angeles. Can you imagine being in a new relationship, moving on with your life, you got 40 mil, you're trying to revamp everything that you lost. And now this video is resurfacing and you have to relive that traumatizing moment over and over and over again. I hope she is off of social media temporarily because this is just too much. And on the flip side of that, I was thinking before I even started recording this video that even though she is owed an apology and she has to relive, I'm sure this is slightly a relief for her because now the whole entire world, everybody who's seeing this knows that she was telling the truth. And now that she is truly vindicated that she can go on about her life and she doesn't have to get the side eyes and the weirdness and the awkwardness and all of the chatter and the talk and the gossip that people have been saying about her, she can shut the mouths of those people. However, comma, there is no amount of money. Let me say that again. There is no amount of money. I don't care if you paid me all the money in the world that could redo, that could recoup, that could redo any of the things that I experienced at the hands of Sean Diddy Combs. 40 million ain't enough compared to, you see my hands? 40 million is not enough compared to all of the things that we saw her go through in this video and amongst other things that we're not even talking about in this video as far as history as well. If this man did that with a towel wrapped around him, with some slippers on in a public hotel in front of people with cameras there, can you imagine what she experienced and went through at home, behind closed doors, when they got back in that room, it was probably a million and one times worse. So like I said, having money is nice, having millions is nice, but I would rather have peace and no trauma than to be a millionaire by default because I experienced physical abuse and so much more at the hands of a man. The next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is holding Diddy accountable. We have this thing in the black community and we can talk about it in the comment section if you guys want to, where we tend to have a problem holding our black men of power accountable. Yes, absolutely we do. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. You know, black men who experience some type of notoriety, some type of influence, some type of power, who's a celebrity, who has a, a lot of money, who's an athlete, who's a whatever, fill in the blank. When they get to a certain status, we want them to be so successful. We want them to keep on going. We're so excited that we got somebody in our culture to quote unquote, look up to that we don't want to see that person fall. But when they do something inappropriate, when they do something illegal, when they do something so extreme, we as a community and as a culture have a hard time holding them accountable. Oh, you don't believe me? These are different scenarios, but what about Bill Cosby? Uh, what about R. Kelly? Now we're adding Diddy to the list amongst a whole bunch of other people that I could name too. So I need for y'all to keep that energy. 
that same energy that you feel right now of frustration, of saying this is wrong, that you're outraged, I can't believe he's doing this, he's hitting women, he has four daughters, that same energy that you have now, I want you to keep that energy up six months from now. I want you to keep that energy up six years from now. I want you to keep that energy up 60 years from now. And I'm not saying that people can't be forgiven, but what I am trying to say is that if this was your daughter, if this was your cousin, if this was your mama, this will be completely and utterly unacceptable. But when it's a celebrity and he got a whole bunch of money, we tend to sweep it under a rug after a certain amount of time has passed. And to be honest with you, he got four daughters, if I'm not mistaken, and they're watching this. I would be scared out of my mind, <laughs> thinking that my daddy was gonna hit me too, because if he'll hit somebody else that he claimed to love and care about and be in a romantic relationship with, how much more and how inappropriate would he be with me as his daughter? So look, here's my final thoughts. Here's my theories. Here's my prediction. Here's next steps. I think there's going to be a million and one other people who have experienced some type of negative experience with Diddy coming out of the woodworks. Yeah, people are going to be coming out with their stories, what happened to them, hush hush money, all of these things are going to start to get exposed. And be prepared to have a whole documentary, just like we did with R. Kelly, but this one is going to be named Surviving Diddy. So thank you so much for watching another video on my channel. I hope you'll stick around. I have more celebrity videos, gossip, trending, movies, TV show reviews, all from a licensed therapist perspective. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time. Bye.